In this video, I'll be going over five tips that can help out any new sellers on Amazon. The first tip that I would give any brand new seller is to start out doing OA or RA. Now at the end of the day, I do think that doing OA is a lot easier, but others might tell you that RA is just as good. But either way, that is the place you want to start just because it's a lot easier because you're not buying in tons of volume and you can also learn a lot of things like how to prep the units and just understand the business model to the you know full effect. So that way, even if you do hire a prep center in the future or even want to run it on a bigger scale, you know exactly what you're doing through the experiences of taking little losses because eventually you will take losses. It's a lot better to lose on 10 units when you did away rather than losing you know 200 units because you made a really bad purchase the next tip i want to give out is that you need to also understand how to read keep a chart seller amp jungle scout whatever you use for actually seeing how much an item sells you need to make sure that you are understanding these to the full effect because if you are not able to read a keeper chart or read seller amp or jungle scout then chances are you're going to be in deep trouble and you're going to end up losing a ton of money the third tip that i want to give out that i think a lot of people really really forget is having a good repricer now we've ran through the issue of having not so good repricers and we're even working on trying to get even a better one but at the end of the day having a good repricer really really matters because that's what is you know allowing you to sell these items and to be very competitive now of course if you buy a product for the you know 100 roi chances are you're going to dominate the buy box for a good amount just because you can drop lower than anyone else but at the end of the day if you're still competitive with people you want to be winning that buy box more than them because it obviously means more profit in your pocket the fourth tip that i want to give you guys is to eventually go into wholesale and the reason why is because with wholesale you can obviously scale a lot higher than you can with oa or ra now at the end of the day you also have to remember wholesale is strictly just the volume game now of course you can get really good rois but at the end of the day you're there to push a ton of volume even with people that are spending hundreds of thousands every single month on inventory the fifth tip that i want to give you guys because i think this is also a tip that no one talks about it goes you know very low under the radar until you actually you know maybe get into masterminds with you know people that are doing things on a high scale but most likely someone on youtube is not going to tell you that the biggest tip to helping your business succeed on a very high scale is actually hiring a team of either va in-house people in your warehouse as quickly as possible now there's a good chance that maybe you outsource the warehouse to a prep center totally fine but whether you have you know a prep center or not you should be having VAs in your business actually helping you scale this business now of course if you have a warehouse and you're gonna need people from the United States in your warehouse you're gonna have to follow a lot of the labor laws you know there's tons of things that go into that and of course do all your research but just make sure you hire help as soon as you can afford it because it's only gonna help your business scale and grow even though we titled this video five key tips i am going to throw a bonus tip in there and the reason why i put it as a bonus tip is because a lot of people are not going to be happy hearing this but i think it's literally probably one of the biggest parts to having an amazon fba business and that is finding a mentor that's doing much better than you we have been able to been mentored by people who are doing you know well over seven figures a year some of them even buying seven figures to multiple seven figures every single month and that is very key because they give you a lot of insider tips that you're not going to see on youtube at the end of the day of course you're going to have to pay for this and there's a good chance it comes with a hefty price but i would recommend anyone that is able to you know afford education to absolutely invest in yourself and your company obviously no one likes to hear that because it's just more and more money you have to spend and they don't like to give a ton of these creators money and if you don't want to do that that's totally fine going to you know facebook groups and just try to reach out to people that are even just doing you know six figures a year seven figures a year and they're not on youtube and try to get mentored by them most people are obviously going to charge you regardless of if they're on youtube or not but it's just a great place to be because there's so much you can learn from people whether you have to pay or you don't with that being said i hope you guys found this video very helpful if you did please make sure to drop a comment down below also like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video